In this tutorial, you'll learn about how you can use the cloning tools to seamlessly clone the face from one person onto another person. You'll also learn how to use the new Smart Clone feature available in PaintShop Pro 2020 to do this even more quickly. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have PaintShop Pro opened up with this image of a group of guys. In this example, I'm going to make a birthday card for Dave and think it would be fun to clone his face onto all the other friends in the photo. We're going to do this following two different methods that you can try. First, we'll use the clone brush to change one of the faces, and then I'll show you how you can do this even more easily with the new Smart Clone tool. To get started, open the Layers palette by clicking on Palettes, then Layers. Now create a new layer by going to Layers, New Raster Layer, and name this Cloned Face. Now click on the Clone Brush tool from the toolbar on the left, and adjust the size so it's not too big. The first thing we need to do is select a clone source. I want to clone Dave's face onto the man beside him, so make sure that the background image is selected from the Layers palette and then right-click on the part of the face you want to clone first. Now we'll go back to the Layers palette and select the Cloned Face layer. Begin clicking your mouse to clone the face from the guy on the left onto the new man's face. Don't worry about this looking strange at first because we are cloning it onto a new layer so that we can make adjustments later. Once you've finished, click on the Pick tool on the left and select the Cloned Face layer. From here, you can drag, resize, and rotate the layer until it fits nicely onto the new head. Now go to the Eraser tool and clean up any edges along the cloned layer so that it blends nicely with the new face. You might also want to adjust the opacity level so that it blends even more naturally. For the next two face swaps, we're going to use the new Smart Clone tool, which we will select on the left. Select the Freehand tool and drag your mouse around Dave's face, and then release the mouse when done. You'll see this creates a stamp which we can now use, but in order to make adjustments to the stamp, we'll have to save it as a preset first. Click on this square icon, and then the plus icon to create a new preset. Save this as Dave's face, and then click OK. Now let's select the preset we just created. From here, we can adjust the size of the stamp from the options at the top and also rotate it until it will fit over top of our new face perfectly. Make sure you have Original Mode selected so that the stamp blends well into its new image area and click your mouse to stamp it onto the new face. We can use the same preset onto the final face and again adjust the size and rotation of the stamp until it fits onto the new image area. This final face has some shadowing because the man is wearing a ball cap, so we'll want to make some quick edits to make the face swap look more natural, although the Smart Clone tool has already done most of the work for us with its automatic blending. Let's go to the brush tools on the left, and use the Dodge Brush or Lightness Darkness Brush on the areas that are a bit too dark. As a final touch, I like to use the Soften Brush on the edges of all the new faces we have applied to give it a smoother and more polished look. And just like that, we've swapped Dave's face onto all the guys in the photograph to make a fun birthday card for our friend. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.